The Samsung Galaxy M11 is more or less Samsung's entry level offering, but with that little bit extra. <laughs> What up guys, Izzy here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm reviewing the Samsung Galaxy M11. This is a budget device from Samsung and it's currently retailing for about $145 and in Nigeria you get it for about 62,200 Naira. And at that price point you get a portable looking device with 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, a Snapdragon 450 chipset amongst other features. Before we proceed any further into this video, it would be nice if you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I'm going to leave timestamps in the description so you can skip to any section of this video. So what comes in the box of the Samsung Galaxy M11? The packaging is familiar and we could also say the accessories are exactly what you should expect from a smartphone these days. You get a warranty card, a quick start guide, the device itself in black and spotting the left hole punch camera and a triple camera setup. You also get a 15 watt fast charger, a USB-C cable, a not so special earphone and a SIM ejector tool. The buttons and ports on the Samsung Galaxy M11 are placed in a typical fashion with the volume and power keys on the right and a dual nano SIM tray on the left with support for expandable storage. To the bottom we have a speaker grill, a USB-C port and noise cancelling microphone. This time we have the headphone jack at the top of the device and another noise cancelling mic. The Samsung Galaxy M11 comes with One UI as with all Samsung phones, however this is One UI 2.0 and it also runs on Android 10. The Samsung Galaxy M11 is a 6.4 inch device weighing 197 grams and it's 9mm thick. It's fit for one handed use. It comes in three colors namely black, metallic blue and violet. It has glass on the display and plastic on the back. The display on the Samsung Galaxy M11 is 6.4 inches with a left hole punch design and some bezels on the sides including a sizable chin at the bottom. It's a 720p TFT display with a density of 268 pixels per inch and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. In plain English, the display looks ok and is good enough for media consumption. You can't really expect a 1080p display from an entry level device, you're pretty much getting your money's worth. Here is a summary of the device specifications. The Samsung Galaxy M11 has the fingerprint scanner at the back of the device and it is responsive enough for unlocking the device. There is also the less secure face unlock option. For daily usage, apps will run just fine with some occasional stutters. Since it's one UI, you get every expected feature of the operating system that is supported by the device hardware. The speaker on the Samsung Galaxy M11 is decent but not really loud. Here is a speaker sound test. The Samsung Galaxy M11 comes with an 8 megapixel selfie camera which really doesn't impress. It has a triple rear camera setup having a 13 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Photos from the rear camera come out ok with good enough dynamic range. The ultra wide camera also takes good photos. The selfie camera is what I find a little underwhelming. Photos look average and may sometimes appear washed out. Portrait shots are quite average and sometimes the background is overexposed. Edge detection is just there. This is video quality from the front facing camera of the Samsung Galaxy M11. It shoots 1080p videos at 30 frames per second, no civilization. In my opinion, the pictures from the selfie camera of the Samsung M11 could have been a little better. This might be improved with a future software update though. So far, I could not find a working GCAM for this device. As for benchmark scores for those interested, Antutu gave a benchmark score of 88779. Geekbench was not compatible so it did not install. 
The Samsung Galaxy M11 comes with an octa-core Snapdragon 450 processor and an Adreno 506 GPU. This is not a device you should use for gaming, but if you must, high graphics games are playable but don't expect too much from it. Aspect 9 worked fine with a few lags, PUBG runs by default on smooth graphics and medium frame rates and like I said, don't have high expectations. This device packs a 5000 mAh battery which is one of the major selling points and I can say with my few days of use, I never really had to plug in until the end of my day. It also comes with a 15W fast charger which can charge your device full in less than 2 hours. So where would I place the Samsung Galaxy M11 in Samsung's budget category of entry level devices? I'd say somewhere in between the A20s and the A10s. The M11 is also having very similar specifications to the recently released A11 and same design but with a much bigger battery and extra RAM. Who do I think the M11 is for? I'll say someone who wants a budget device with decent performance and very good battery life but definitely not for heavy users, definitely not for gamers and so far not good for selfies. So those are my thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy M11. Do hit the thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I'm going to see you in another video. Peace.